you know, bitch can't see because I, when I take these glasses off, because I don't want to put my contacts in because I just want to let my eyes rest because y'all want to hear a story. Mm. Sorry, mom. I think my mom, I don't think she cares. I don't know. She ain't never going to get on camera anyway. So, my mom, she hits me up, right? She's like, um, so I think it'd be really nice to have a personal chef cook for us. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, really? Like, you know, how did you meet him? Is he trying to hit on you? Like, why does he want to cook for you? You know, because I'm trying to get the scoop so that I know the real situation. She's like, don't worry about none of that. I think it'd be nice to have a personal chef cook us so i'm like okay I, the story is so good i'm trying not to skip ahead so i'm like okay but you can't tell me like how did you meet him like is he trying to hit on you was he trying to cook for you because are you paying i'm trying to figure this so she's like don't worry about it don't worry about none of that can we do it at your place because your kitchen is bigger than mine so i was like ugh Mm, I don't know because I'm really picky about who I allow to come into my space who I allow to come into my atmosphere you know what I'm saying because I I'm a Capricorn and like our homes are our sanctuaries for real for real so I'm like oh, she's like please yes because you know it'd be better for him to work around that kitchen blah 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 so I'm like whatever okay so I think it's going to be a nice experience. He's going to cook us some good dishes. And I ain't never had no uh, personal chef cook for me. And who do you know who's got a personal chef cooking for them? So I'm like, yeah, whatever. So Sunday comes along. He's supposed to be cooking brunch for us. So, you know, I get up. I walk star. I go outside, whatever, whatever. I, get, I clean up the rest of the house. I'm ready. So he gets here and... Um, He's like, yeah, he's talking to my mom. She's like, oh, did you know that he's an animal rescuer as well? Or Because oh, I'm not an animal rescuer. He's like, she's like, did you know he's an animal rescuer as well? Because he's supposed to be a chef. I was like, what? He's like, I was like, yeah, I was wondering if he was okay, you know, because I have a dog. He's like, oh, no, I love dogs. I rescue animals. Da, 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 da. So he comes in with two big suitcases. I'm like, okay, makes sense. He brought his own pots and pans. I get it. He is on his shit. So we sit down. And he's like, okay, now, ladies, before we get started, and he pulls out this pamphlet, y'all. He pulls out this book, and he's like, now, have you heard, I'm not even going to say the company's name. Have you heard of the company Pots and Pans that are the greatest? I'm going to make that up. And I'm like, no. She's like, no. He's like, well, Pots and Pans are greatest have been around for this, da 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 So I'm like, oh, my God. This man is trying to sell us some pots and pans. So I'm like, dang, my eye is burning. So I'm like, let me go to the bathroom. Let me figure out what's in my eye. So I go in the bathroom. I don't see nothing in my eye. I'm like, hmm, okay. Um, let me just go back out there. So he's like, yeah, I'll wait for you because I want everyone to hear this. So these pots and pans, y'all. These pots and pans were motherfucking $2,700. So I didn't really need to hear the informational because I'm not about to spend twenty seven hundred dollars on a pots and pans right now. I got a lot of other things I need to do. So, but he's like, "Yeah, I'll wait for you to come back to the bathroom." So I go to the bathroom again to check my eye because I'm like, something is burning my eye. Nothing in it. I don't see nothing. So we get like less than fifteen minutes into his little informational about. It's definitely less than, it might be maybe five minutes into his information, but 15 minutes of him being in my house. And my eye just starts watering and like my eye just burns. Like it just gets progressively worse. Like it starts out with just like, so what I'm saying is my, my dog is hyperallergenic and she's always here. My mom is always around. But for the first time she brings this man into my house, he hadn't even started cooking yet. So it must've been something that he had on him. Maybe because he's an animal rescuer, there were some things on him where he had these big suitcases and they were fabric suitcases. And you know, fabric suitcases like retain smells, odors, etc., more than other materials. So I don't know what it was, but when I tell you I had an allergic reaction, my eyes swelled up so bad. I'm kind of ashamed. I would pick the picture up because my eye looked really bad. Everybody I sent it to, they're like, dang, what happened? But 
my eye hurt that whole next night. My eye was swollen the whole next day. And my mom, it was there wrong for not telling me the real situation. Because then I could have been like, I hate when people try to sell me something. I'm the type of person that like, I know what I want. So unless it's something new or you tell me one time, oh, here's this option. But I hate being pressured. I hate having people repeat themselves. I hate, you know, I hate all of that. I hate, I don't want nobody trying to sell me nothing, especially in my own house. So I just feel like she should have been more transparent about the situation because had I known that that was the full situation, the whole thing could have been avoided. I don't want anybody in my house trying to sell me shit. Don't tell me it's a personal chef. Don't tell me it's a personal chef. When it's a man trying to sell me some pots and pans that cost $2,700. That's so deceiving. That's not, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hate that stuff. So, my eye was so jacked up. Like, I really should put a photo but I'm nervous because, okay, oh, I'm using my phone. Because I was about to say, I'll just show you a photo of it on my phone. But it was bad. Like, it was bad. And it's just like, let me see if I can find it. Hold on. But it may not be, I just got this iPad. So it may not be in this messages. Hold on. This is how it looked, y'all. Can y'all see it? That's pretty bad. And it's just like, that whole situation could have been avoided because I would have said no. If she would have disclosed to me what the real situation was. Oh, he's trying to sell me some pots and pans. He's not really a personal chef. He's not really cooking for me a special meal that's going to just be so savory and tasty. He's cooking to sell me something. I would have said no. I just hate the sneaky stuff because I'm a, just a straight shooter. I just tell it how it is. If you don't like it, that's fine. But I'm going to tell it how it is. But everybody else, they want to sugarcoat it. They want to layer it up with all this bullshit and then serve it up to you. And then be mad at you when you still be like, well, that's still some bullshit. It's just some bullshit covered up in some sugar. <laughs> Like, bullshit is bullshit. You know? Mm -mm -mm. So that's my little story time. 